Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm going to show you how to flash over uh, Darkies 10.3. So first of all, what you want to do is ensure that you're on um, a JVQ, JVR build, um, and it should be a Darkie ROM, uh, ROM, if that makes sense. So I came from 10.2.1, um, however, um, I went without a wipe, and I, it caused loads of problems and therefore uh, I'm gonna do a wipe right now with you guys and um, therefore my suggestion would be if you want to flash this flash 10.2 RE and today is the 3rd of September so in case uh, Facetto makes 10.3 RE then uh, he might well do but um, so far this is the only method uh, flash over 10.2 RE from any ROM and then um, go into Darky ROM tool app uh, which is this one and um, follow the steps that I do. So as you can see in the um, darky ROM I have um, ticked wipe, kernel, modem and swipe. The rest I've left unticked, you can tick them if you want. Just bear in mind ad hoc driver causes problems with Wi-Fi. Uh, and then you want to put the file into your SD card. As you can see I've got three files here, um, JVR blue theme which I won't be flashing, 10.3 and semaphore kernel 1.6. So I'm going to go for that, press OK, and it's going to do the work for you. So it should go straight into recovery, and when it goes into recovery, it does its thing right there. So as I said, I suggest going for 10.2 uh, and then going via wipe. Um, if you're already on JVR, like base R4, that's fine, then go via no wipe. If again you experience any problems like I did, then uh, be sure to wipe on your following installation. So I can't really comment on no wipe installation because I did try 10.2.1 to 10.3 with no wipe, but I ended up with loads of, for of um, force close problems and um, just it wasn't working basically. So um, this is how I'm flashing it. So if you want to back up your apps there's titanium backup I've got a video for that so just look that up on my channel um, on how to back up your apps if you want to as you saw in the video my SD card looked pretty empty and that's correct I um, wiped my SD card and then put the files on it and then flashed so um, if you want like a clean um, install in some in terms of your SD card make sure to wipe it and then make sure to put the stuff on. If you're going for a wi uh, no wipe, do not uh, format your SD card because uh, there might be some important files there that uh, might conflict with your installation. I didn't do that, uh, as in beforehand, so just bear that in mind. Um, so it's just up to you guys. Um, I just like clean installs when I install ROMs. Um, I found that it's, it's the best way to avoid any problems and it's the best way to judge a ROM um, so if I come from a wipe I can judge like this is the ROM there's no conflicts with other apps or whatnot so yeah right so uh, that's pretty much it I'm just waiting for it to boot uh, it does take a little while um, I remember last time I booted it to take a little while so after this I should get the boot animation which is just coming up now with a default um, with a default theme uh, default boot animation sound so um, as you can see, Darky Extreme Edition, um, and there we go. And now it's going to load for about a couple of minutes, but then after that, um, you'll be on 10.3. Uh, I'm not going to continue playing this video because it's going to take a while, and you guys will be bored. So, um, right. So I'll put down in the description uh, what the specs are in terms of when I do 134 on the uh, dialer star h 1234 um, h and I'll list it down in the description so I hope you enjoyed this video guys pretty simple pretty standard uh, just like flashing 10.2 um, extreme edition so um, yeah enjoy this video guys take care bye bye